time and since we got back in, into ultimate, mm. um, you know, Light uh, beat him in game five. Had to reverse 3 0 Jake uh, to get to this point. So it has not been easy for Jackal today. Uh, until they also uh, took a spill to uh, Leon uh, today as well. So Tri State out here, uh, you know, it, it's struggling a bit, but, you know, Tilde usually is being expected to get to around to that ninth, seventh range. So mm -hmm. you know, we'll see how it shakes oh. out for both these guys. Okay, and just like that, I mean, I always get scared uh, when I see Falco on a stage with platforms, but at least they don't have that top platform. So you don't have the super high extension, but he still can convert quite easily. And he's always, you know, he's always waving the plane down. So, yep. like, you got to watch out for that up tilt, man. It converts into so much. <laughs> waving the plane down. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh! And cleaning off the Tims at the same time. <laughs> By the big, he blows your brains out. So. Wow. How is he doing all of that and crip walking? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> all right, here we go. Yeah, that's the, that's the scary part about, uh, you know, about Falco, man. He's so potent. He's so, he's so good at combo. You wolf the character that gets combo to death. Uh, you know, because he's a spacey, you know, they mm -hmm. typically get comboed harder than other characters. So, you know, Jackal's really going to have to be on his P's and Q's, you know, to avoid the Falco cinematic universe. Uh, but also, you can't get caught falling asleep on a ledge like that, because Falco can do like you just saw and flush it at, uh, you know, at any given percent. So. And it's so funny how, like, neutered... Oh, my God. I was going to say, if you got that down air again, I was about to be like... You are absolutely the GOAT, man. Like, <laughs> but that just means Jackal's been spending too much time waiting on the ledge, right? Like, he already got caught once slipping. Nice. I love that, right? He covers tech and place and tech away by doing that option. So that's just good coverage until then. All right, trying to get around the back air uh, brigade right now. Going to be able to fight through what's a Nair, but still, you know, having a really hard time, you know, trying to get this uh, this stock off here. Finally getting Tilda into the triple digits. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, he got burned. Oh, that's crazy. He actually got burned for that. All right, let's go, Tilde. With a cheeky recovery there, I was kind of wondering if he meant to do it all intentionally because the air dodge looked like he wanted the grab ledge, but he didn't quite. But despite that, I mean, it looks like Jackal's able to go down there, throw out that board till it just close out that stock. And we'll see if he's able to bring it back. Yeah, he's, he's definitely going to have to play the stock pretty close to the vest right here, but, you know, let's see how much damage he's going to be able to put on before he inevitably gives it up. And again, Wolf able to make up damage in spades at low percent. You know, uh, you know, definitely going to be able to, you know, get his uh, his P's and Q's in here. Mm -hmm. Burns the air dodge there, so that means on the way down, Jackal no longer had any real offness to mix up with. Unless he went for like a B reverse of some kind with like laser, he yep. just he was going to fall straight down. So he caught him on the way down and the punish. That's the way to do it. It's still there. Very good. You see, trying to make up some ground here. Good down tilt right there. Uh, from Jackal again, doing a, a, a good job avoiding the long springs, only getting kind of nickel to dime here. Right, oh, I like this, right? There's an empty hop first, doesn't do anything, then goes up and does something again, wastes just a little bit of time, and also says, all right, if you want to drop your shield, I can kind of punch that, and you have less shield, it's more higher probability that I'm going to get a shield poke if I wait a little bit. So I like the play. But if I can, man, so high cool up tilt, fantastic. high F tilt is so funny. Yeah. That makes his leg all the way up there. Like, bro, what are you doing? Putting it up. <laughs> gotcha, man. You gotta, you gotta play a crazy game with Beat Saber. <laughs> That's bad. I mean, like, Tilde, looking like he's gonna be able to secure this game one, to be honest. Like, he needs pretty much like a backer in the corner. Should be able to do it. Tries to get it there. Doesn't quite connect. Throwing him out still. Trying to catch a jump. You can see that Jackal. Was not jumping, I was gonna say. Like, he, he hadn't been jumping, he finally does, and that's when the back air hit. He was doing a good job of staying grounded for a little bit there, and then committed to the jump, and he got punished for it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard, man. You know, Falco just feels like he has every percentage, you know, uh, threshold, like, covered. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you're either gonna get combo to, you know, to, to pieces. Back air comes out so fast. Again, Jackal just kind of hanging on the ledge, maybe just a little too long, you know, gonna catch that down air there, so. Let's see what adjustments he makes going into game two, running it back. Small battle. Can we change the song, please? I'm oh, begging you. Uh, this is this is foul. <laughs> <laughs> this this should not be legal. Got to swing your arms from side to side. You're about to get DMCA for this. <laughs> like, come on, man. Uh -oh. oh, again? That is jump, Double. though. Oh, okay, I was about to say, if you got back to back, it's crazy. With it. Go back to back. There you go, gonna have a combo there into the dash attack there. Now Jackal on the offensive here. You know, gonna get... Uh, nice, tries to time it right, get the two frames of the down smash, but for sure led to a KO, but the timing is difficult. Did the right play there, just couldn't quite get the execution. Right, dash attack once again, gonna catch until they try to land behind Jackal. Let's see what his answer is from the ledge. 
showing his hand very much with the up smash right now, but uh, the Tiller gonna get a grab for his troubles. Yeah, and it's always like scary because Wolf players can kind of go into up smash mode, where like they're thinking about, okay, up smash out of shield is going to be my KO option. They keep doing it over and over, so I like the fact that we see the tomahawk grabs coming out from Tilde saying, all right, I'm not gonna play with the shield. I'm just gonna like Ooh. work around it. Despite that, a nice up tilt actually from Jackal that stock. Yeah, excellent stuff right there for Jackal. So, but has to be careful here. Tilde one strong hit away from being able to even things up. Just as I say that, gets caught jump bearing from the ledge of Smash will take that stock to no uh, problem. Yeah, you always forget, like, Falco got an up smash out of shield too. It ain't like as crazy as the rest of y'all, but it's still enough to KO yeah. if the percent is right. <laughs> Falco's also got everything else. Yeah. <laughs> and his jump height, crazy. This character's kind of good. Yeah, he it's real high up there, man. Like, <laughs> watching new Space Jam with LeBron. I was like, put Falco in there. <laughs> Who wants you, really. the Lakers? No, oh my like, gosh, here we go. Ladder into the back here. That's a Tilde Classic. I tried to come down here, couldn't get it. Throwing out hitbox. All right, China. Okay, Tilde's a smart one. Gonna go to the, plat to the platform. Nice. Wow. Woo! A little bit of English on that one, too. Uh -huh. Let me hang there for a second. Oh my gosh, he was being so patient there. Thought he might go for the tomahawk oh. grab. He's gone for that a while, but instead he's still trying to catch Jackal on the jump. Okay, trying to fight his way through here. Gonna catch right there. And a nice trade there for Tilde. Gonna buy him a little bit of time to, to reset, but still getting kind of opened up here in this last stock flame, bro. Now, let's go ahead and get that tilt. It's not gonna be enough. <laughs> Ooh, where's my wallet? I can't. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you know, <laughs> back and forth waddle. I was like, oh, I can't pick up my glass. There we go. Chasing him down, trying to get that final blow. Like at this point, you know, the jackal probably needs like somewhere between 20 and 30 more percent. And then you can start fishing for you know four tilts at the ledge or up smash that shield. So yeah, I just the typical game player for Wolf feels like it's a little bit like. Nice. Oh, that up. He's been getting a lot of kills that chase, chasing in the up with mm -hmm. up air, yeah, that close to the blast zone. That's how I want to set against DM. So and people have got, kind of figured that all of Wolf's aerials are like, really good. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like there isn't a bad one in the bunch. It really does not have a bad one. It's like there are some characters that have bad ones or yeah. several <laughs> bad ones. Wolf does not have a bad one. Everyone has a use in a spot for it to be used. Whoa. Everybody's chiseled, perfect grades. Mm -hmm. All got into their first school of choice. Oh man. Perfect score on the SAT. Me? Could never. But, <laughs> but I got a 36. Not really. I don't know. I was about again. to say, I was like, I was like, oh. <laughs> if anything, I should be like, like, I don't even know if you could get a 36. Like, even person. if you like bomb two <laughs> sections and the third, like, you could at least get like a 150. I don't know. One, go. Here we go. Loading up this next game here. 1-1 one, one on the board. Good win from Jack on the last one. Double down tilt coming out from Tilde. Go ahead and secure uh, that punish and keep Jackal in the corner. Oh, the second hit yeah. of the board to drop. That's unfortunate. Rough stuff for sure, but Jackal not going to you know, fall victim to anything crazy here. You know, Town and City can be a very dangerous stage to fighting against Falco. You, know, you can see why Tilde definitely uh, picked here. You know, because Falco's able to get into so high into the blast zone, the smaller ceiling, of, uh, the larger ceiling of Town and City doesn't really affect him as with other characters. So, you know, it seems that becomes a factor, you know, as we get into the twilight of the set here. So, we had to push over to the side, Tilde. I, I feel like they've been slowing down this game quite a bit, right? Like over the course of this set, you can see they're taking a little bit more time deciding how they're gonna find their opening. And it looks like, I mean, we've seen quite a fair amount of use of the gun on both sides, right? Like, you know, laser here to slow down the pace, laser on the side of, of Wolf to slow down the pace, and then up smash, honestly, getting more KOs than I've ever seen Falco get with you. But I'm saying, man. <laughs> like that's, it's getting some use today. It's because everything else just kills you so much sooner. Yeah. Like, All right, I'm not just gonna go for it. Like, yeah, it's, it is my out of shield, you know, KO option. So, like, if that just happens to be the way that he's noticing, hey, I can get my punish, he's gonna go for it. All right, side B's gonna lead into Side that B. combo. Oh my god. That's crazy. And the first episode only hit once, too. <laughs> <You know, laughs> they were still able to do something. That's Falco really. That was crazy. Actually, oh my god. Bro, they are rolling like. I felt like I was watching Brawl for a second. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're doing it again. <laughs> and I'll do it again. Drag him down to the plat. Oh, they did the grab. Was able wow. to roll away. That's okay. Jackal trying to get on the board here. Tilde trying to extend his lead. Getting real crafty, uh, crafty with the movement. Trying to get behind. Uh, trying to get behind Jackal. On now. Wants 
the up tilt yet again. These guys are just like, they're struggling to hit each other, to be honest. Like, they, they're swinging and they are responding with shield correctly. There we go. That's going to be an opening. A forward air going to carry him over to the side. Potentially an edge guard here, a down air attempt. No, goes for the down tilt to see if he can get the conversion afterward. No dice, killed it. Uh -oh. Ooh, nice stuff. Wow. What oh, option, bro? That okay. would have been so heat if he got the hitbox. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, coming up short there, but. You know, Jackal still trying to get on the board here, almost being lapped in percent. Uh, you know, Dillard is doing such a great job playing evasive. The up tilt will finally connect. For dash attack, you know, like, don't want to give him the punishes too easily, right? But still, you know, going to be a little bit more willing to throw out a haphazard option in the attempt to get the KO. But I feel like Jackal's doing a great job playing defense right now. Finally gets caught by an air, but up until that point, he was able to get 55% without really taking much of anything. Uh-oh. Be very careful here. Good down air. We had Burgess double jump. Hot. I don't know. Okay, it is enough. I didn't know if it was going to be enough. He was kind of getting close towards center stage toward the end of the ladder hit, but it was more than enough. Yeah, so definitely uh, Jackal looking down the barrel of a 2-1 deficit here. Tilde doing, so, doing a good job adjusting after that second game for sure. It's just so funny how, like, much blasters change over the course of games. Like they just shoot one and keep running. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> punch, kick, punch, kick, gun. Shoot him. Punch, <laughs> kick, punch, you know, gun. It's like, okay. Gun. <laughs> That's crazy. Nice catch. All right, even stocks here. So, you know, it's been, it hasn't been easy for Jackal here. He got lapped pretty hard in percent. Mm -hmm. but for him to be in the position he is now, with the lead now. It's crazy. Like all the way back, yeah, that's the way to play. I mean, uh, man, they've been slowing things down. Nice parents to grab. And good DI, honestly, on the forward throw, because had he DI down, that would have been potentially uh, a guaranteed follow up for Jack. Oh, oh boy. So. Good there, right there. Ooh, misses the dash attack, though. That could have been huge for him if he got the right hitbox. Wow, that's good. so good, bro. He robbed him with that hitbox. It, again, it's so scary, man. Even if you air dodge, there's always the risk of you being frame trapped mm -hmm. into something else. And, it, and it's scary, too, for the fact that, like, yeah, Jackal has quite a bit of a percent lead here, but, like, an up tilt back air in the corner from Tilde with that rage, like, should do it on this stage, I think. Oh. Both players have to be really careful right now. Gun. Good. <laughs> <The> gun. <laughs> and they go right back into it. Ooh, Good. two times. <laughs> Like they're playing Happy Chaos or something, bro. Like, like <laughs> come on, bro. Like, you heard about that new Pokemon gun? Oh, yeah, bro. I remember. Th those games were so good. <laughs> My sword and shield drop. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, he didn't get the conversion. I think he might have been able to get something through there. Maybe an up air would have been the option to go for, but he wanted the oomph on that back air. Yeah, any of well, you know, any of both solid kill moves will definitely kill right now. Yeah, this is the last hit game now. So fade back. Oh, wow. Oh, oh no, got bro. Him. Got oh. him. Wow. Oh, a little jump out of his seat there coming out from Tilde's hand. <laughs> yeah, uncharacteristic emotion from Tilde. He's usually a pretty yeah, stoic. He's pretty dude. stoic, I was yeah. gonna say. Does not usually show that uh, much of um, you know emotion when he's playing, but knowing the pressure even that's on him right now. Both these guys I'm sure are feeling the same thing. You're yeah. both in your backyard, you wanna perform at your own in-state manager, you know what I mean? Neither of them wants to get snuffed out here in the first round of top 16, but. Yeah, it's like you want, you're, like you're so close to top eight. Like I feel like a lot of the more stoic players got to like this point yeah. where it's like, oh snap, I might make top eight today. And then they care. Yeah. You know, they're like, <laughs> they're like, all right. And if he gets seventh guaranteed, he doesn't care after that. He loses immediately, oh, pound, you know, whatever. But <laughs> it's that, that magical number, that seventh place means yeah. so much to so many competitors. Yeah, no, for sure, man. And again, both these guys, you know. Get on the graphic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, or you're on Reddit. <laughs> yeah, that. Ain't nobody gonna. <laughs> Get more viewership on the YouTube thumbnail, like it's everything. I'm saying, SEO right. specialist. Anyway, anyway, you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Back you're right. All right, so we'll see how it shakes out here and get Jackal on tournament point right here. Oh, uh. was the DI sus? I got all the. Like I, I swear he could have held on. He looked like he was gonna make it. <laughs> Definitely not halfway there. The full way there. Like forgot to change out the ID. Yeah. <laughs> Right, here we go. Tilde starting to wake up right now here with a huge string on Jackal. You think that maybe the the, the, the tilt is starting to show a little bit? Yeah, I think so. They're like Tilde's about to laugh him, and it's like if you start falling into, you know, an autopilot versus a player like Tilde, he also has 
what I like to call like his punish game is his autopilot. Sure. Right? Yeah. Like when he gets exactly. the hit, he's gonna bang, 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 bang. If you make those openings that easy for him, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to bring this back. So Jackal, I think, was doing a good job of slowing down the game before, and we saw him. He was down by about this much in one of the games we watched earlier and was able to bring it back. I think if you slow it down, slow it down, do it again, you can do it. Beautiful. All right, that total catch right there. So 73%. Not terrible, but again, for a space animal and for a character who has explosive, nice. you know, in the combo game with Falco, you have to be careful. But Jackal getting his low percents here, that's huge, man. You know, your bread and butters are so huge, you know, in mounting these comebacks. Yeah, I mean, honestly, every single, like, percent that Jackal has gotten on this stock thus far has been from a guaranteed setup, right? He'll get, like, a nair. He got a down tilt into a trip into a grab dash attack. And the other one, he got a nair into a grab. He's been doing a good job making sure that, like, he's finding his openings properly. He's waiting for the KO opportunities to come to him. We even saw that in the stock before. Waited for the Phantasm, got the forward tilt. The patience is paying off. All right, up he's back to the ledge here. Trying to get back into some nice. semblance of safety here, but Tilda did a good job reversing fortune again. Oh, this be punished. He's waiting for the opportunities to come to him. Tilde needs to be a little bit less antsy. He feels like he's so close, and he's letting it slip away from him because of that. If Jackal's able to take his game, I feel like he'll have all the momentum to take the set. Yep, side beat to the back air. That will uh, take that stock right there for Tilde. Jackal sitting on tournament point right here, trying to push it to game five. Until they're trying to guarantee himself at least a shot at top eight here, Flambo. Mm -hmm. Speaking of shots, man, I guess that back air just, I feel like, should that one too? Like, I, I feel like he might have been able to hang on, but I, I know that boot is just like. Those backer goes crazy. It's man. so whack. <laughs> I was going to say wild. I was like, no, it's, it's not wild. It's whack. <laughs> it's like, why are you hitting that hard? <laughs> Steel toe, man. It, I'm saying. It really, it really do Where's add the, that extra. We're some red wings for <laughs> <Yeah>. sure. <laughs> like, damn, dude. I, okay. <laughs> I remember there was this girl in my high school who wore steel toe boots. <laughs> who just kicked me in the shin sometimes. <laughs> it hurts. So I can see why Wolf be getting those KOs. Ooh, okay. Good tech away there from Tilde. Ooh. Oh, again, okay. Aaron the grab is getting that so often. Preemptive short hop there is catching Tilde on the drift in. Trying to catch in here. You see there being the option here for Jackal. Down smash? Oh. oh! Oh my gosh, I got mixed out of my seat there. Same. I, I really thought that I was like down smash will cover tech in place, tech away, and tech in. That's why I thought he was going to do it there. But instead, try to go for a little bit of a saucier play because it wouldn't have KO'd. I don't think it would have. Not from that side of the stage. Good. Okay, well, players knowing the pressure right now. Nobody wants to overcommit right now because it could be the end of your game. Oh, I like it. Oh, how are you going to get down? You see, he's so patient now. He's yeah. playing so patient. Yeah, no, that Wow. Was... How did that poke, bro? <laughs> what? Bro, there's wood there. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Jackal forcing a game five here. Now, we can't hear the crowd too much, but I can hear a little bit yeah, of it no, they're, right they're, they're starting to get a little crazy. And it's one of those things, too, you have to remember, like, the amount of Wolf games today, not even just Jackal, but, like, even Stock Taker 69, like, I haven't seen too many kills today come from like actual smash packs. Like yeah. even back here, it's like there's one here and there, but really just been forward tilt. It's been yeah. ledge trapping and then like doing like retreating nair at the ledge and then forward tilt. And like you just do it till they get to a point where the percent is so high that like it KOs because it's such a good option. It's disjointed. It's safe enough that like it, it, it's so good in matchups like these where the character on the other end doesn't have a huge disjoint to threaten you with at a shield. All right, folks, we promised you a banger. We're going into game five here between Jackal and Tilde. And two of your uh -oh. Tri State's best. Oh, brother. Okay, that was actually insane DI on that up air there. Because I feel like if Tilde was able to get another one, he would have been able to KO off the top. But Jackal just DI'd so far to the side that he was like, well, I can't get anything else. Yep. Again, man, that early percent for Falco just makes so much of a difference. It's like, all right. Oh. <laughs> Gun. Gun. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, dude. I was like, ah. Because, like, it's the thing where nobody, you can tell the way they're playing, neither of them wants to approach. Yeah. But they don't. So they're like, I hope I, oh. Okay, I was going to say, I was like, you got, like, teleported through the stage to the blast zone. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Gets the spot dodge. Gets the, and Reed combos that, you know, into the, into the fair, into the back air. Yeah, so I like that, too. Yeah. If he had DI'd out, that could have been a true uh, side B conversion. So the fact that he DI'd in meant, all right, I go for the back now instead. Yep, smart stuff, man. Covering all your bases. Oh, okay. Just goes to a Firebird to the other side of the stage. Can't catch the landing. Might try again. Beautiful air dodge down in the center. Go ahead and keep yourself safe. Jackal trying to stay alive here. It's going to be a close one. Whoever gets the first stock is going to have such a big mental advantage going to the final bouts of this set. 
I'm saying, yep, exactly, man. It's gonna make such a difference in the complexion of the set. That goes to dash attack, not enough to kill just yet. Will they try to find oh, his way back down? Smash? Oh my gosh. Oh, up smash? I can't believe that, dude. That thing's a vacuum. He just tried to cross you up. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Despite that, you know they're gonna play a little bit more. We'll see who <laughs> can get it. <laughs> you know, like. Oh, he's standing on the ledge, but that board tilting catch, that's crazy. Yeah, hey, that's actually nuts. Oh, and there it is, the retreating there. All right, it is a down tilt that is the equalizer, or the, uh, you know, the, the icebreaker here. Yeah. For you guys, what you may. Yo, hit him with a hatchet kick from Brian. <laughs> oh, here's a sit down. Kills him off the top. <laughs> okay, good read with the rapid jabs. Great damage here for Tilde. Probably gonna sit back a bit, you know, throw out these really safe aerials. Jackal trying to get the kill here, almost 170 on the docket right here until they refuse to say die. Hey, there you go. Gun. <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh-oh. Careful. Okay. Had to shoot one more before he recovered. <laughs> All right, Nair will take it right there. So only 44% on Jackal's tab right now. Definitely something that can't be made up in the low percents again. Wolf at low percents, man. This character's ridiculous. Yeah. And you saw it in Jackal's Game 5 set against uh, you know, DM. The second stock is where Jackal kind of woke up and really separated himself here. So you know, we'll see if he can have channel that same sort of magic here. And I think the thing for Tilde, too, I, I don't think he's going to be using the gun as much. Um, yeah. Mainly just because of the fact that it doesn't do as much percent. Like, every time Wolf does it, it's like 8%. But then Falco does it, and it's like 3 Yeah. So I feel like Tilde, at this point, has resolved. So you know what? I'm going to try to see when Jackal's going to do it and reflect it. Because at least at that point, I'm getting like 10 or something. That but backer just barely missing on that air dodge right there. So <laughs> just stopped working, bro. He yeah. just broke for a second. <laughs> 404 air on the back air. <laughs> like Bad <below>. gateway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. No. A costly S. It could be a costly SD right there for Tail Day, but how's your mental? <laughs> yeah. You got that Metify coaching? They teach you about this? We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so we'll see if that is cool. Potentially takes the air out of the sails. Does not. The down air to the back air converts Flambo. Game five. Last hit. Space Animal. Okay, you got to keep that mental rock solid right now. Mouth fight. You have to make sure that you have everything in your brain just focused on getting the dub. Don't think about what if I lose. Now, Get that combo. Yes, three hits, get out. Yeah, both these guys knowing the pressure right now. The, just the tip of the Nair connects right there. Allows Jackal an opportunity to reset. Oh. Here we go, good damage. Oh. Double gun, double laser. We gangsters. <laughs> Across the way. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, parry. Oh, how is Jackal going to finesse out of this one? I knew it was coming because he hits like a truck with that one-inch punch, but Tilde not letting it happen. And it's, it's crazy because Tilde has the percent advantage, but like can die from a straight hit from Wolf. I'm on the edge of my seat right now, Flambo. Both players don't want to give it up. The fair will connect right there. Jackal holding on to his double jump. Able to get back to the ledge. The backer yeah, connects. Gonna that's going to be it. In a game five thriller, it is Tilde that comes out on top here. Continuing on in loser's bracket, Jackal will fall at 13th. And man... It sucks, man. Yeah. <laughs> I like both these guys so much. Again, I wish both these players can win, but circumstances be the way that they are. Man. It's hard to feel good watching that because you love both of these players so much. Like, it's like, I love seeing Jackal win. I also love seeing Tilde win. I feel like whenever they're on stream, they give some of the hypest matches to ever see. Shout out to the crowd cam. Yeah. Live here after sure that Jen game and going ahead and rocking that one. Yeah, no, again, shout out to Trevor and company for, uh, for providing the roaming cam. We got some, let's take a look at this replay here. And again, this, like you mentioned, the, the so rock solid mental uh, mm -hmm. from Tilde. SDing uh, on that second stock and still yeah. able to come back and win. And if you're Jackal, you're probably kicking yourself over that uh, second game, the one where he was up big. Yeah. You know, dude, that's the one that's going to haunt you, you know, for a while. And it's unfortunate, but Jackal really showed his grit this weekend for sure. I think that's the biggest thing that I would take out of this as a Jackal fan. Found himself against the wall in a bunch of sets. And in some instances, as, as, as someone that's known Jackal for a long time, in the past, he probably might have crumbled in those situations, mm -hmm. but the mental fortitude was there. I was and, you know, say, yeah. It's just a matter of just kind of putting it together. You know, literally one hit away uh, from coming out on top there. So, you know, again, sucks, man, if you're you know, if you're a fan of both players like I am. Uh, but listen, we get to see more Falco, you know, moving on here. Totally with a shot at top eight here. I feel like Jackal, like, historically, has kind of been like Tweet. Right? Yeah. Like in terms of like the, very, the very game. similar, yeah, yeah, very similar story paths there for sure. And you would be able to see it every time he lost, right? You'd be able to see it in his face on stage. I feel like you're right in that he has evolved quite a bit sure. in his ability to like 
take his losses and maintain his metal game and not crumble. And I'm sure he personally probably feels like he has more that he can work on there. And we, I mean, that's what we do as human beings. We mm -hmm. critique ourselves and we say we could always be better, but he has definitely made mountainous strides. Yeah. And listen, it's, uh, I'll be the first to call a spade a spade. It's hard to hide my biases. I'm friends with Jackal. He's, no. one of my, he's, he's one of my dudes. But, you know, again, you can be objective and, yeah. you know, point that stuff out. So he, he, he did play, he bring his best game today. Maybe in some instances, probably not. But still able to get enough, you know, to grit your way through to this point. And, like, you know, Tilde on the other side, too, do the same exact thing. You know, Tilde usually kind of around this top, you know, 9, top 16 spot is 